Hey guys, me Hope Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today we're going to go toy hunting to York and see what we can find. So come back at the end of the video to see what haul of goodies I pick up from today's toy hunting in York. Let's do this. <laughs> First up on the road trip is Game. Let's see what Game have in store here in the UK. They've been having a big old sale recently. So let's see if York Store has anything worth picking up in the sale. Scooting around the store here, let's take a little look around. And they do have a cabinet to the right of me, which is filled with the Star Wars, Black Series, and Marvel Legends. But it's all locked and I can't get in the cabinet, so we need to go get a staff member. So come let us in so we can get that Black Series because there is a Jet Trooper in there that I need. Need. There's also a bunch of new pop vinyls on sale and stuff in here. Um, nothing that I am really bothered about collecting. A bunch of other stuff like they've still got the Fantasia pops in here for God's sake. And, uh, a few Fortnite figures and stuff but nah, nothing that I'm collecting right now. Just going for the Star wars -y stuff as you guys know so I'm keeping it just Star Wars. But plenty of other stuff going on in game right now. Uh, big discounts on a lot of toys. So get yourself to game if you're in the UK for discounts on Marvel Legends. I picked up a Black Series Jet Trooper today for just $8.99, which is an absolute bargain. And they even have pound buckets on the floor full of goodies, all items like one and two pounds. So get yourself to game. They're having a massive clear out of the toys right now. This is York Antiques. This is a new one to me. I've been told about this a couple of times uh, by other YouTubers, including uh, Blue Harvest and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep coming here regularly. Um, so I'm very new to this one, so I'm not sure what to expect. I know it's going to be a lot of vintagey stuff, but um, hopefully we can get some good bargains in here as well. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Some of the prices can be a little bit iffy. I'm not sure on them. I'm not big on vintage and stuff. And older products, I'm more of a new guy at retail. Although they do have some crazy prices on some of the Luke's Black series. I'm looking at them and just thinking, whew, if you think that's worth 40 quid, my dear, okie dokie, I can go to game and pick it up for 15 pounds right now. <laughs> uh, moving on to the other cabinets, yeah, a bunch more random. Some of it's new, some of it's old. It's a random mishmash of stuff. Like there's a there's a Mortal Kombat um, Baraka there, which they've put a ridiculous price tag on it, I'm not going to lie. It's not worth that at all. <laughs> and uh, yeah, some of it's, uh, like I say, a bit off and iffy, but this was my, the cabinet that caught my attention. This was the one that got me going, because this is all the, the proper vintagey stuff and some figures that I really need, including that Ula in the corner. That Ula's going to be mine. I'm going to be taking that home today, so stick around to the end of the haul, uh, for the haul video at the end and see what else I picked up, because there are some beastie pieces in this cabinet. Oh yes, I am definitely picking some stuff up from here. And I will be back. I'm going to add this store to my regular route of stores while I'm in York. And I will add this to my um, repertoire of stores to visit whilst I'm in the area. Because it definitely is worth it. There's some great stuff in this cabinet. Um, again, the only thing with it being in a cabinet is... I know you can ask to see stuff and things. But it's hard to tell if it's a beta or whether it's going to be a, you know, a decent figure and things. So, meh, I don't, I'm not a big fan of, the, of getting stuff from, you know, cabinets, but, 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 saying that, look at this, <laughs> very tempting. Now over to HMV to see what they had in store, I was looking for that Mace Windu TVC figure, but to my surprise, I didn't find a TVC figure, but I did find a retro, and it's Ahsoka Tano, you would have thought if anything was going to be gone on that shelf, it was going to be the Ahsoka but we're going to keep flicking through these figures because hopefully we're going to find a Mace Windu stuffed behind one of these Jar Jar Binks or something that someone's trying to stash for later. Nope, no such luck. But they did have a bunch of new TVC in stock, including Anakin and Obi-Wan. So if you are interested in grabbing an Obi-Wan before the TV series starts, definitely head down to your local HMV as they do have them in stock. No discounts in here right now, though, sadly. I'd have thought with game selling everything ridiculously cheap, HMV may have wanted to try and combat that by putting a few few uh, sale prices up themselves, especially as the same Jar Jar Binks is in Smith right now for a fiver. Moving on, though, we've now got Tesco. I was stopping off for some lunch, but I thought I'd check out the toy section here whilst I was at it. Still got these Battle World balls in stock, plenty of Among Us. And Marvel Zombies is still on the shelf. Nothing's changed here in about six months, I don't think. This is ridiculous. Although they do have some new Jurassic Park stuff further down the shelving. 
but nothing that appeals to me. Let's go see how small they've made the Star Wars star, you know, side of things because guarantee you it will be a minuscule Star Wars section. Yeah, a few baby Grogu's and about three vintage retro figures on the shelf, whatever you want to call them, the retro line. And uh, that's about it. <laughs> they do have these lounge fly um, pins though, which are stitch, which are very cute. And they're six pounds each, but meh, lounge fly. You're paying for the name, it's just Funko, people. And let's keep going further down. We've got some Hot Wheels products, uh, some Batman, and that's about it. I'm back! <laughs> I got too much stuff. I had an Amazon delivery while I was out, so I'll share that with you. I got something cool. And I got three bags worth of cool. We're saving the big blue one for the end. And you guys, if you've seen the video, I'm not sure if you can see what that says on there, but if you saw the video, you might have a clue what's in there. But let's jump straight in and take a look. So, <laughs> where to start? Travelling Man. I went to Travelling Man first, my usual comic spot. I wanted to get the Kenobi issue one of the new comic book series for Obi-Wan Kenobi, given the fact that the new... Um, series coming out but i wasn't able to get it so but i was able to pick up screaming citadel which i don't yet own so it's a little bit it's set before the comics that i have this is collecting of the screaming citadel and doc and dr afra 7 through 8 uh, and star wars 31 and 32 this is the whole saga crossover story i think was screaming citadel the first crossover marvel did in star wars um because it does have the timeline in here Obviously, this is after this is after the Skywalker strikes, after Smuggler's Moon, Vader down, Rebel Jedi, Yoda Secret War. So I think this is set after Yoda's Secret War by the looks of this. Um, but yeah, it's set before the comics that I've got because the comics that I've got are currently in the in between era of Re uh, Return of the Jedi and sorry Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Um, so I think this is set a little bit before that. So either way. It's uh, Dr. Aphra and Luke together on an adventure. Looking forward to that. Right, so that, that, that was Travelling Man. That's all I got from Travelling Man today. Then we went to Game, because everyone's been talking about Game and all the amazing deals that people have been picking up at Game Store. So I had to jump in and go to Game. And in Game... In Game, I managed to find myself a Sith Jet Trooper. Uh, to complete my Black Series run. I don't have the Jet Trooper. I have a couple of Sith Troopers that I'm looking at up there, but I'm looking along the sign that I do not have a Jet Trooper. I don't know how I missed him. So I've now got a Sith Jet Trooper, number 106 in the Black Series line. Got him for an amazing price of $8.99. If I was to get him off of uh, Amazon right now, they're still wanting, I think it's $15.99, so bargain. As you saw from my video, the store at York didn't have, they had some Marvel Legends, they did have some good stock, but not the two packs that people are after, and not the um, no shields, no helmets, none of the good stuff. Next up was HMV. I didn't get a bag of HMV, I just shoved it in this bag, but I got a couple of items of HMV as well. First of all, I got the cult classic Spike Lee movie of Tales in the Hood Part 1 and 2. Very B-list cheesy horror. And I can't wait. I've seen Tales of the Hood 1. I've not seen Tales of the Hood 2. And I was watching um, Black Klansman, which is a great movie. And uh, there was a trailer for Tales of the Hood 2. And it's got Keith David. And as you guys know, I love Keith David. So I thought I would give that a watch. Um, yeah, pro a proper weird cult classic B-list style horror movie. I love it. And uh, we also got a retro... Ahsoka Tano. Not had, not got her in hand yet, so happy to finally have that in the collection. Yeah. All right. Then Missy, Missy Super Sorrel treat has got me a very nice treat. And uh, the, the treat this month is the Death Star Trash Compactor. As you guys know, we went out to Meadow Hall a couple of weeks ago, and it was on May the 4th, as you guys saw from my May the 4th videos. I did a May the 4th toy hunting video. And I was meant to do a part two of me going and picking this up, but <laughs> they ran out. And they only had the Dago Bar set. And I was like, I do want the Dago Bar set, but I want the trash compactor more. 
So, Mrs. Superstar went online and actually found me one, so thank you, Mrs. Superstar. And I've got my trash compactor finally with all the minifigures, so I'm really happy to have this. And I will be doing the full build and review on the channel. I might even do a live build along on a live stream on Twitch or something. Um, let's go for the Amazon box. I'm keeping you in suspense about the big blue box. Let's open the Amazon. You guys know, if you remember when I opened my May the 4th video, you may remember that I, I was like, I got a lightsaber, it was the Darth Vader Builder Saber. And you guys know that I've done the Mace Windu Builder Saber before, and I did get another version of the Mace Windu Saber in my box. But I know, I know from watching other people's videos, some people were very lucky enough to get the Mandalorian Builder Dark Saber, and I was like, oh, I want the Mandalorian Dark Saber. So... I tripped myself. I went on Amazon. I went on Amazon, and on Amazon it's only 16 quid. So I treat myself, trip myself, whatever you call it, to the uh, the buildable <laughs> dark saber. And it is compatible with all previous builder blades and stuff. So happy uh, to have this. This is now my third builder blade in the series. I've got Mace Windu, I've got Darth Vader, and I've got this. And I'm gonna. Don't worry. I will be reviewing Darth Vader and this. I will be reviewing them. And seeing what combinations of sabers we can build. Plus, I just want an excuse to have another dark saber in my collection. <laughs> and I, plus, I want to come. I want to compare this because this is a Hasbro product, and I've got the other one that they released that's still in stores in Smith's now. I own both of them, and I want to see. I want to see what the differences are, other than the fact that it builds. I want to know if the sound, if the soundboard's the same. I want to know if it's different. I just want to know about it. So happy I got that. Pop that down here. Right, finally, on to <coughs> the Antique Centre York. I got two items in this store. I got the big item. And I also picked up... I got myself this. This is Ula in a two-pack with Salacious Crumb uh, for the 3 3 quarter inch line as a part of the Power of the Force line. I got this because I don't think they're ever going to recreate Ula ever again. I don't think, I'm not sure if we'll ever get a new Ula. Um, and this is a sealed up proper version of it from back in the day from the Power of the Force line. So I'm happy to have a 3 3 quarter inch Ula. And when I, I am going to open this for review, I will be opening it, but I will keep the box in decent uh, condition because I would like to find Femi Taylor starting to go back to the convention scene again. So I honestly would like to take this this little box in for Femi to sign. So I think I think that'd be a cool thing to have in my collection. Uh, to have a signed version of Ula. So plus I've got my signed photo of Ula on the wall over there. So yeah, another another nice piece of my collection. And this is from the Kenner series. It is the Kenner collection, original. So happy days. Right, on to the big item. I was so lucky to get this. As soon as I saw it on the shelf, I was like, I need to own this. Every three three quarter inch collection needs a rancor. And this is the uh, Target exclusive edition, I believe, from the... Um, What do you call it? The um, Force Unleashed. And it's complete. It's got the rider and everything. It is fully complete. So we have a fully working Rancor. And I will be doing a full review of him on the channel, guys, because he is awesome. So yeah, I have a proper big Rancor. And like I say, this is the Force Unleashed ver version. Um that goes for a lot of money on eBay. So yeah, I'm very happy to have that. And the fact that he's got the rider still attached, I've seen a lot of them on eBay are loose, don't have the rider and stuff. Whereas mine actually has the rider. I'm trying to work out where his articulation points are to move its feet and things. Ah, there we go. So I can put the feet down and flat. And then it'll stand better. There we go. He is awesome. 
is such a big, heavy piece as well. He's going to take up a lot of room, but he is awesome. I think every collector needs a Rancor. Especially after Book of Boba Fett. I think these are going to just go up and up and up in price now. I don't think these will ever go down in price. Fully articulate jaw and everything. Jeez. That is sick. Yeah, I'm going to have a good play around with that. But guys, what are your thoughts on this haul? Awesome, right? I'm so excited. But guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video and you want to see me review these items on the channel, then please do shout up and let me know what you want to see get reviewed. I'm guessing we all want to see the Rancor reviewed, right? <laughs> Let's get a camera on that Rancor ASAP in a video. That's all I can say. <laughs> but guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soupsaron, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, may the force be with you.